You may have been wanting to improve your photography, so you went to the store and purchased yourself a DSLR camera. But to your disappointment, you realize that your Google Pixel is taking better pictures. Now don't worry, and don't trade in that DSLR camera for the next iPhone just yet. Hello, my name is Mario. My wife and I are photographers and love photography. We, we will be providing our services to Eastern North Carolina, Raleigh and the surrounding areas very soon and we're truly very excited about it. Today I will be discussing about camera modes, specifically automatic and manual modes and how it affects exposure. The first step in improving your photography is to switch from automatic mode to manual mode. By doing so, you stop the camera from making the decisions, the important decisions. Instead, you in manual mode will be making the decisions, specifically the exposure. So to kick it off, let's talk about exposure. Exposure is the amount of light that hits your sensor, your camera sensor. Whenever you take shots and the image in the LCD screen is very bright, you are taking overexposed shots. No good. If the shot in the LCD screen is dark, you are taking underexposed shots. Also, not very good. The three components of exposure is aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. So, to start, we'll talk about aperture. Aperture has the biggest impact on your image. Aperture is the size of the hole. The size of the hole determines how much light hits the sensor. The lower the aperture means the hole is wider and more light gets in. The size of the hole determines how much of the frame, the, the picture you're taking, is in focus. Next is your ISO. ISO is a camera's sensitivity to light. So if you're outside, 100 to 200 may be adequate. If you notice that the shadows in your naked eye are visible to your naked eye, but not so much in the LCD screen, you may have to bump up the ISO to 400. When you're indoors as such, 400, 800, or even higher, may be adequate. Lastly, shutter speed. Shutter speed is your camera's curtain. It's what you hear when you take the picture and it goes chuk, chuk. That chuk, chuk is when it opens so the light can come in and then it closes. And that is when the picture, the image, is taken. So, we discussed a few things today. We discussed about camera modes, about removing from removing automatic and going to manual so you can make the decisions so that you can better control your aperture, your ISO, and shutter speed. If you implement these things, you will start taking better photographs. Thank you for listening to me and have a great night. Bye.